Welcome, welcome. I'm The Threat. Today I'm going to show you guys how to stream to a low end PC or a laptop using OBS. So let's get into it. So you want to get to your settings menu in the control panel. Um, on your settings menu, the first thing you want to do is see the nightlight option? You want to switch that to off. It consumes a lot of processing power. Um, you want to change brightness automatically when light and change you want to have that to on um, change brightness you want to put that to low you want to change your resolution to 1280 by 720 and orientation is going to be in in landscape mode Real quick, if you're new to the stream, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If not, give us a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback. Uh, next, you want to go to your battery menu. Um, in the battery menu, you're looking for additional power settings. And that can be easily found if you hop into the power and sleep menu. It should be on the right hand side highlighted in red if you're in Windows 10. But it's usually in uh, power sleep menu. Uh, so you want to get to here. So very important, the high performance, you want to enable that. Next, you want to hit change plan settings. It's going to bring you back here. You go to change advanced power settings. Very important. You want to scroll down to the graphic settings. You want to make sure that is set to maximum performance. It's very important. Uh, next, you want to scroll down, uh, scroll up a bit. If you're on wireless, this is for you. If you're not, doesn't really matter. Uh, you want to set that to maximum performance if you're on wireless. So scroll down. You want to go to processor power management. Um, plugged in, you want to set that to 100%. On battery, you want to set that to 100%. I'm never usually on battery power, so that doesn't really affect me. But if you are, you want to set that to 100%. Uh, these, you got to make sure that's active. Power processor state, you have to set that to 100%. Battery, 100%. Let's scroll down to display. Um, these is fine. Uh, leave them as is. The default maximum power will um, resolve all of that. You won't have, don't have to change none of those settings. You want to go to your battery. Um, these, everything there should be default if you chose the maximum power option. Um, we're going to go jump into OBS settings in a bit. And I'm going to show you everything you need to do in OBS. So let's jump into OBS. Well, in OBS, you want to get to general, general settings. On this menu, it's never really change. It's just all preference. Uh, stream, you know, you want to set up your stream and Twitch. But the main thing you want to go to is video. On video, you have to make sure your base resolution is 1280 by 720. Your output, 720, uh, sorry, 1280 by 720. And remember earlier, I told you guys to set your laptop or low MPC to 7, uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, well, this is the reason. If you have them both match, and this is very important, both match, it uses so much less uh, processing power. So let's go to your output settings. Uh, this is my encoder. Your encoder should be different depending on what kind of PC or laptop you're using. But uh, this is one I use, and this, if you have this option, is best for me. Um, rescale output uncheck that box uh, remember these options matches you want those options to match this option right here your output and if you don't rescale it uses so much less processing power which is enables you to uh, stream on a low end uh, target usage I go for speed um, because the better speed it is, the better resolution you'll get and the better quality. I have a high um, upload, so I'm at uh, 10,000 bit rate. 
Um, real quick, if you want to know your bit rate, uh, you can always go to speedtest.net. They'll show you your bit rate. And you want to use maybe 30% of that bit rate, and you enter it in here. My bit rate is about 1,000. Let's, uh, let's go check that out. So speed test, just Google it. I got to change my thing from Bing. Um, it should be the first one that comes up, speedtest.net official site so you go into here and you just simply hit that go button and that's where you get your um, your bit rate from and how much you should be using you want to use 50% to 30% of that so my download speed and my upload speed is very high. So I can actually go higher than 10,000, but it uses more processing power. So I leave that to that. And um, it makes my, my streaming quality looks professional. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If you have a comment, leave it in the box below, and I'll get back to you as fast as Verizon Fios speeds. If you like this content, remember to subscribe. It helps us grow. It lets us know that we need to bring more content like this to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'm The Threat. This is F Entertainment, and I'm effing out.